Breaking news overnight, tense moments caught on video after Chicago police shoot a man they say shot at them first. CBS 2's V Wynn is live at Chicago Police Headquarters. And V, what prompted the exchange of gunfire in the first place? Suzanne, good morning. Police say two officers were on routine patrol when they saw a man drinking in a vacant lot. The officers got out of their car to try to talk to this man, and that's when he took off running. The officers chased him into an alley where police say that that man fired at least one shot at officers. They shot back. A witness shared this Facebook Live video with us of the chaotic scene near Fillmore and Whipple in the Lawndale neighborhood. You can see several officers trying to get the crowd under control just moments after the shooting. The man shot by police is believed to be in his 40s. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition. One witness says he's not sure if the man had a gun on him. He says he didn't see one, but he heard officers telling that man to drop the weapon. Yeah, he was hollering stop. He was hollering stop. And he kept running? Mm hmm He kept running and they kept chasing. The next thing you know, we heard five, six shots. They, he landed on the ground. After the shooting, police shut down the surrounding streets and during their investigation found a gun at the scene. The two officers involved were taken to the hospital for what's being described as anxiety related to the shooting. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability is now investigating this shooting. Two officers that are assigned to our tactical unit they have approximately five years on the job, both of them. This is their first shooting. And, uh, and uh, again, there are two young, aggressive officers doing what we asked them to do. The two officers involved are now on death duty. As far as the violence during this Memorial Day weekend, we have been keeping track. There have been 16 shootings, since fr including this one, since Friday evening. Reporting live from police headquarters, V1 CBS 2 News. Suzanne, back to you. Thanks so much, V.